It is budget chat day. Today I will be sharing, I think this is a fun type of video. I'm going to talk about if I'm a saver or a spender. I'm Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you're new here, welcome. We hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission. So I got asked this question when I was going to do a Q&A video and it just kind of stuck in my brain and I thought, you know, that would be a fun topic to do a budget chat over. So am I the spender of my relationship or am I the saver in my relationship? And I will be honest, I am a natural spender. And that may come as a shock to you, but I am the natural spender of the relationship. My husband is a saver. He never buys himself anything. I have had to work really hard with my spending. It is a struggle for me. So when I sit down and I do these budget chat videos and I talk about my budget planner and I talk about how much debt that we've paid off, Please note that that has not been the easiest process for me, but I will tell you that documenting it and putting the numbers on paper has helped me tremendously. So I, and it's not that I'm a natural spender in that I need to go out and buy $200 purse for myself every week, but for me, I am always thinking ahead. So right now I have already started purchasing Christmas presents for my kids and it is May. So I am always thinking like, okay, what can I buy? This is on sale. If I buy this right now, then I can save that for Christmas. So my spending is normally spending ahead of time. So my spending isn't for me technically. I have worked really hard on that. It is basically right now for gifts. So if I see something, I want to get it and I want to save it to make sure I have it because I have the money now and in six months, who knows if I'll have the money for the Christmas presents. So that's what I mean in spending. So you guys have been, if you've been here since the beginning of this channel, you know that I was a huge spender. I bought every sticker, every washi tape, every Target dollar spot planner item there was. In the beginning of this channel, I spent so much money. And I know some of you were out there cringing every time I shared a whole video. And you guys, I was just excited. I was like, oh, I don't know why I purchased all of these things, but I feel like I need it and I'm gonna buy it to share in a video. And I will tell you, this journey of backing it up and trying to have a different mindset has been going on since 2018. So 2018 is when my husband and I sat down. I think that's the first year I had a budget planner. We put all of the numbers on paper. You guys, that is my biggest tip for you. Where do you start? How do you get motivated to pay off debt? And to change the whole spending mentality is put the numbers on paper. It is painful. Y'all, it was really painful in the beginning. So in the beginning, this is how we would do it. We would write everything down. We get paid twice a month, the 10th and the 25th. We would write everything down and then before we got paid again, we would go, go okay, our money is almost gone. Is there anything on this list that we need to cut or that we can cut? And one of the biggest things that we cut in the beginning was direct TV. 
you guys, I don't know if you have DirecTV or Dish or anything like that, but it had gotten to where our payment was so much and we were not watching TV. We just, we don't watch a whole lot of TV. So we ended up cutting DirecTV and we went to the local TV service, which is actually really good. So that saved us a nice amount of money. So I am still working through the spending thing. So yes, I still purchase myself things, but this is how I normally purchase things. If you see something on this channel, it is probably because I have sold something. If I want something, I have to sell something in order to have the money to purchase it. So you guys, and you may not think that you have a lot of things in your house to sell. You would be surprised. So declutter your home. Declutter and sell some things. Have a yard sale. My biggest thing is I sell a Mercari, Poshmark, sometimes Facebook yard sale. Just depends on what it is. So how have I gone from a huge spender to more of a saver? And I wouldn't really technically call me a saver. Saver to pay for trips or saver to pay for debt. And it is a process, but the numbers are important. So if you don't know the numbers, you need to know how your money is walking out the door. If you don't know how your money is walking out the door, you can't change that path. So for me, it took me writing the numbers down. My husband and I, we have to be on the same page every time we get paid. So we wouldn't sit down once we get paid and we will discuss all the bills, how much debt we owe here, what we're going to go to next. So we have a snowball. If you've not seen my budget planner video and if you've not seen my debt snowball video, so basically how we accumulated the $900 snowball that is actually more now because we paid our vehicle off. I will put those videos in a card above and I'll also link to how we paid our truck off two months early. So guys, the numbers are important. You need to know the numbers. You need to know how your debt is walking out the door. So I am not, like I said, a natural saver. I'm a natural spender. Also for me, I know a lot of people will hide their purchases from their spouse and I talked about this in my money confessions video so I will link that in a card above as well. I was not sharing some purchases with my husband and I know there are so many people that do that but my end internal Jiminy Cricket, like I call it, I call my internal voice Jiminy Cricket, was telling me that was not a good idea. So to help me with my spending, I discuss all of the purchases with him. And he will tell me if he feels like that's not a good purchase or you don't need to purchase that right now. And he's told me that several times. And yes, it hurts my feelings. But after I think about it, I'm like, well, he makes sense. So, and you might wonder, well, why does he not have to talk to you about purchases? He does. He just doesn't buy anything. I mean, seriously, my husband does not buy anything. I cannot convince the man to search for him a pair of jeans. He has not purchased jeans in several years, and he just doesn't want to take the time to pick out jeans. So it's not that he doesn't discuss money things with me. He's just not the spender. He would rather save the money. I'm the spender. So knowing the numbers was the first way to basically curb my spending. The second thing was, I'm so tired of debt, you guys. I'm so tired of it. So when you go out and buy something and you put it on the credit card, yes, it gives me that internal excitement, like the thrill. Yes, I've purchased something. And then once those debts start piling up and you get that credit card bill in the mail and you start paying the payments and you're like, the debt's not going anywhere because as you're spending, you're buying, it's an exhausting process. And then you go through and you're like, do you know how much money I would be saving if I didn't have this credit card debt? So I've just got to the point where I'm sick of having the credit card debt. 
I was sick of going on vacation and even though we had saved and we paid for the vacation, I couldn't even enjoy it in the back of my head because I kept thinking, we don't need to overspend. We have all of these bills. We don't need to overspend. We still have all these bills. Oh, can I really spend that much money on this meal? Oh, I, I don't know if I can go all out on this meal on vacation because we still have all of these bills. So even when I'm on vacation, I'm still thinking about, oh, I can't do that because I have debt. So it was getting to where it was taking over my life. So even on those fun times, I still had to come back and think that little, the devil behind me, the debt was going, ha ha, but you still have this credit card debt. So I got so sick of dealing with that. You guys, even last vacation, I'm going, oh, I need to make sure that we watch go, what goes in the cart. Oh, even though we were cooking at the beach house, I was still going, oh, I don't know if we can get that meat because we need to pay off this debt. So I just got sick of dealing with that. So now I'm in the mindset of I don't want to deal with the debt anymore. I'm tired of paying the t interest. I'm tired of thinking all the time at how much credit card debt we have. I'm tired of the student loan payments. I'm tired of having a vehicle payment. So right now with the vehicle payment, we are going, like both of our vehicles are paid off and we're gonna drive the cars until they completely, the wheels fall off. That is our mindset or until we can save up money to buy a vehicle. I don't want the vehicle debt. I don't want the continuous payment. So you just have to get it in your head. And for me setting goals, I am a goal chaser. So when I do those goal videos every year, so if you've not seen my 2020 goals video, I will link that in a card above if I haven't ran out of cards. I only have uh, five cards that I can link in cards. If not, anything else that I mention, I will link it in the description below. You guys, if I write something on a to-do list or I write down a goal, I my brain tells me I have to mark that goal off. So if I write it down, once again, this shows how important it is to write things down. So if I write it down and it becomes a goal, I have to chase the goal. So this year our goals were to pay off Lowe's, which was the dishwasher in the fireplace. We've checked that off. Number two was to pay off the truck. We got that paid off in April. Check that off. Third was to pay off my credit card and we're a month away from paying off my credit card and then we will tackle my husband's and my husband should be paid off in August we're hoping which is five I think five months ahead of schedule so you guys those were the four goals that we had for 2020 we didn't think that we would accomplish them all but if we stick to the plan we can have them all done by August. So I'm a goal chaser. So how have I taken my spending habits to more of a saving and paying towards debt? How have I changed my money personality? You got to know the numbers. So the numbers help me tremendously. I pull out the budget every single day. I watch budget motivation videos, Dave Ramsey and Chris Hogan that I've mentioned in favorite things videos. If I watch that and I focus on that and not focus on the spending videos, and you guys, I have to not pay attention to the people that want me to buy things like Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. There are so many people that devote their brand and their channel to you spending money. I had to back up from that because I was wanting anything and everything that they were mentioning in videos. So I've had to even back up my content. That's why you don't see as many haul videos because I feel like my spending was trickling over and making y'all spend money that maybe you didn't have. So knowing the numbers, having to do the painful process of evaluating myself, looking at the debt, looking at the interest, and evaluating what I was sharing on this channel has really helped me with my spending. I can't sit here and tell you I'm doing this and then behind me I'm going and doing the total opposite. So I like to be transparent and I like to tell you when I screw up and I like to tell you how I'm trying to change my habits. 
So if I could tell you to take anything away from this video, if you are a natural spender like me, know the numbers and set some goals. Those are the two things that I would highly recommend. And you and your significant other need to be on the same page. So you need to be on the same page write the numbers down and set some goals. That is what I've had to do. And it's two years in the making to get to where I am today. And I'm still not 100% moved over that fence, but I feel like I am on my way. So you guys, in the comments below, I want you to share with me, are you a spender? or are you a saver? Let's get a conversation going about that in the comments below. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and until next time, bye, you guys.